Hi, my name is Pierre Funk, and I'll, today I want to make a review on the Alpha USB Wi-Fi adapter AWUS036 um, NHR. This video is especially made for viewers who haven't decided up to now if they really want to purchase this um, device. So what you see on, on your screen in the video is the packet you get. If you want to buy one of these, make sure you don't buy a fake device because the market is flooded with fake device from China. Most of them are from China. That's a fact. Um, please look for seals on the packet and on the, uh, on the device itself. It's a small silverish sticker. If you want to really buy this device, buy it from Taiwan and most probably you're going to be on the safe side. These are the parts included in this box I've showed you before. About the two feet uh, long USB mini adapter, two USB normal USB uh, male connectors, which I um, get the power for this device. Uh, a driver CD, uh, drivers included are drivers for Windows XP, Windows Vista 32 and 64 bit, and Windows 7 uh, 32 and 64 bit. A plastic holder for the device which you can see on the right side that's the white thing a uh, plastic knob so you can fix it and um, place it on a window or a flat piece and instruction manual for how to install the drivers correctly on windows xp and i guess mac os x i've no idea about mac os x in this whole video because i don't own a mac and here is a 5 dpi omnidirectional antenna I guess there is also another packet with a directional antenna, but I've no idea about this either. So we move over to the specs. The chipset is from Realtek. It's called RTL8188RU. The standard supported are IEEE 802.11, um, BG and mode N. The mode, N mode allows data rates up to 150 megabits per second. The, uh, the antenna, as I said before, is a detachable 5 dBi dipole antenna, at least in my packet. The frequency range is from 2.412 to 2.481, a 4 gigahertz. I guess that's the 14 channels of the Wi-Fi spectrum. Security modes supported by the drivers on a CD are WEP, WPA, WPA PSK, and WPA2 PSK. The OS versions, which drivers, uh, which you get, uh, can get the drivers for, are from the CD: are uh, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Linux. Uh, the drivers on the CD don't work, at least not for newer versions of any Linux dist distribution and Mac OS X. I have no idea and I have not tested any Mac operating system. Now move I'm um, going to move along to the pros. Uh, the IEEE 802.11 N mode allows the user to use data rates up to 150 megabits per second. This is pretty cool for the price of the device actually. But I guess most of the people um, who buy this Wi-Fi adapter or want to buy this Wi-Fi adapter do so because of the enormous transmitting power which is uh, given and this transmitting power is up to 33 dBm which is translated to 2 watts of transmitting power now that's pretty cool but there are also many issues with this piece of hardware the cons windows drivers for windows they work pretty well. I've not had any problems so far. On blue screen, okay, but that's a problem with the OS too. I guess that's a bug in the OS version. Okay. Um oh, going to leave it right now. Um Linux. Drivers for Linux. Um you get with the CD. Don't work for, it didn't work for me at all. Um first of all I installed it on uh Ubuntu ten point oh four. 64-bit didn't work at all, uh, threw many errors at me. I was so frustrated after installing it the 10th time 
Uh, so I downloaded Fedora 8, which they tested it with. It worked amazingly well, no problems at all. Worked good, uh, full support to everything. But I don't want to use, uh, I guess, a six year old system. Um, I'm Ubuntu and Debian user, not Fedora at all. I, I wanted to get this driver working on Ubuntu 10.10. I downloaded the Realtek drivers uh, for the chipset uh, it has, the RTL8188RU from the Realtek uh, website, the, uh, was the newest driver out, but I had some problems to monitor mode, didn't work with this with these drivers, um, there was no transmission power control, so you couldn't change anything in a transmission power, and you wouldn't get any feedback of the transmission power the uh, the signal strength strength and so on and so forth. So and there are also another there's also another driver. It's uh, it's called Compat drivers. It's a driver suit for um, different devices where the drivers don't work pretty well. And there's also a driver for this chipset included. And some people made patches so you could so you can um, use monitor mode. And injection mode on this with this card uh, works pretty well, but there is a bug. Sometimes you can't um, find any base stations if you scan for them. Uh, that's pretty annoying. You have to unload the driver and un inject it again, or just reboot your system. So a small conclusion: all of you guys who want to buy this device and only use it for Windows or um, use it once a while for Linux. Um, it's a good device, pretty cool, um, yeah, but most of you guys probably buy it for Linux operating systems, and I wouldn't recommend it to you at all, at least for the next few years not, because uh, drivers don't work pretty well, there are still many bugs, um, you need much time to get it working, uh, and it's not cool sitting 10 hours, 20 hours in front of your computer and trying to get this card running you bought. For you guys who want to buy a card that works, plug and play, or um, is not really hard to install, I would recommend the um, card AWUS036H. It's the predecessor, an early, early predecessor of this card. It doesn't support N mode and it only transmit with one watt of power. Thank you for watching. And if you want to see uh, the seal, I'm going to show you now. Okay, that's the seal. You see it at the um, at the back side of the device. And if you see, if you can see this 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 seal, you know it's not faked, or at least if it's a fake. It, ha it must be really good. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe.